Hello traders, this is Anthony Borsellino, and today I want to show you how to use the widget section in the HT5 Trading Solutions platform. Uh, you know, I just created a new tab here called Widgets, uh, and you guys already know how to use the tabs um, from previous videos that we created. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and select the tab that I created called Widgets. As you can see, it's a blank tab here, but we're going to go ahead and drop this down, and we're going to start with the watch list widget and we're going to go ahead and just select that one so it's up and running. Um, within each widget you can change the settings or the um, the desired uh, fields that you want here uh, within the widget. So to change the settings all you have to do is click the settings button on the top right here of the particular widget you want to change. Uh, each widget has their own um, settings and as you can see in HT5 when you select um, the different icons uh, it'll tell you what they are so we're gonna go ahead and just select uh, widget setting and it's gonna bring up a little settings box uh, so you know you can go through these boxes you can change them we'll change this to mom widget list and you can go ahead and just go through here and click the different thing, things you want uh, if you want to manually sort the rows uh, you can go ahead and just click that um, I usually like to turn off this option here uh, this paging option um, to kind of take this uh, section off the bottom gives you more space so as you can see we just made our changes that little section came off the bottom here and we're able to now click and drag our rows um, however we want so if we wanted to let's put S&P's at the top and then we wanted to put crude oil um, above gold you can just go ahead and put that there and you can uh, move the bond above uh, the gold too if you want it so you just kind of click around and move those uh, settings if you wanted to uh, make them a little more efficient for you. Uh, you can also add different fields to a widget by clicking this option here and uh, checking the uh, fields that you want. There's a select all option at the top that you can click if you want everything that that widget has to offer. So um, we'll go ahead and close that. And now you're looking, you know, there's, there's different information we added in that change. Uh, we added present change, we added the, the open, daily, high, low, and close of this particular widget and the time. But let's say this was a little cluttered for you and you just wanted to take a few things off. You just click um, the manage columns here and let's take the timestamp off and we'll take um, the percent change off. As you can see, when you unclick them, they're gone and you go ahead and hit, just hit close and everything is automatically saved the way you want it. You can also set up uh, different watch lists here. You can see in the top uh, left here of the widget that this one's called Man Over Market. It's just a default setting that we set up. Uh, let's say we wanted to do a new one with a few different markets. Uh, all you have to do is hit the Create New Watch List and you can name it. Let's name that Sisters and we'll hit Create. And we want to put in, let's say, YM and um, just go ahead and select the contract you want hit OK and as you can see uh, that contract starts updating uh, we'll put in the NASDAQ 2 here just to kinda give us ourselves an example March contract and we'll pull that up uh, just for now um, in the simulator you can only trade the contracts that mom has enabled for you which are the continuous contracts um, and they're listed in the man over market section so um, this is just kind of a little help section uh, to change widgets uh, if you want to um, look at different widgets. So we'll drop down this, we'll pull the mom one back up. If you want to scale over to the sisters one, you can pull that one back up. Um, it's up to you how you want to manage that. Uh, so we'll put that one up and let's say we wanted to just add another watch list. Uh, you go ahead and just left click and put a watch list in. We'll put this uh, down here and we'll pull it pull it up and we want to look at the sisters one here so you can just it's kind of just easy to uh, you know set little settings for yourself here uh, within the platform so let's put this and we'll put it right here go side by side with it alright so now that we have um, our watch list set up the way we want it let's go ahead and add another widget here um, let's go drop down and let's look at uh, the market depth widget we'll pull that one up 
I'll go ahead and put it right below um, the uh, watch list. We'll pull this to the top here so we kind of see what's going on. Let's go ahead and just link these windows here so we can pull up a market real fast. And we'll choose the S&Ps. All right, so now that we have uh, a new market depth window, all the same settings apply. You can go ahead and just go in here and you can change the name of the window if you wanted. Uh, market depth's fine for me. Uh, you can also check these little manage column sections and add more um, more fields to the actual widget itself. So we'll add the price, uh, we'll add the high, low, and the volume for the day, um, and we'll submit that. So as you can see, those columns were added here. You can also go through here and take out um, you know, the size or the bid. Anything that you wanted to really customize in here, you can do. And when you're done, you just hit Submit and uh, those columns will be how you want it to be set. So now that we kind of understand how to um, kind of set up those widgets uh, how you want, I want to go ahead and pull up uh, a chart widget and just kind of go through um, the functions of that widget and the things you could kind of customize uh, when dealing with the chart. Let's put this here click and drag that over and we'll go ahead and link this to the rest of the windows hit OK so now let's say uh, that we didn't want this gray background on the chart and we wanted to get rid of the grid lines and a few things like that uh, we can go ahead and just click this little setting widget here um, and you, there there is another uh, sub setting within the setting called appearance go ahead and click that and we'll take off the grid lines uh, we'll use a custom color. Let's change this to black. Um, let's change this one to black also. What should be the background? And uh, you go ahead and hit OK on that. And as you can see, um, those new changes have been made. So we'll kind of pull this over here just to give us a little more focus. Um, pull that setting button back up here. And another uh, key function of the chart would be the indent. So let's change this. Let's give ourselves some space here on the right. We'll change it to about an 8 and hit OK. As you can see, the chart pulled over. I also want to take um, the show position or show orders uh, option off my chart because it gets a little cluttered. And that's in the uh, general settings. And we'll just take that off. Um, also, you never want to mess with this because this is automatically going to pull in the symbol that. Um, you're trying to search so just leave it how it is um, it's more efficient and hit OK and as you can see um, you know you have uh, those changes made so now you're looking at um, your candlesticks here and when you point at a, at a bar you get some information you get the open the high low and close the volume of that candle also the date and the symbol and uh, the time you can also go up here in your chart and change it to a five minute chart uh, one week uh, you know right now the charts are very basic uh, with HT5 um, and we'll be getting a lot more advanced as we go but um, you know they're, they're pretty good right now uh, just for a basic chart we also have a couple standard indicators that you can add uh, you drop it down and look for yourself you can put a MACD in there and you know Bollinger Bands uh, whatever you wanted to put in there you can kinda uh, mess around with that and put in. So right now uh, we're just working with the volume and the MACD. If you wanted to go ahead and customize uh, these indicators, you can click on the little settings window here uh, and change the color of them. Let's make it green with a, you know, a blue border and we want to calculate on the last value so we'll hit OK and as you can see that changed. Uh, we can also change our MACD here. We'll make it uh, a blue and we'll keep um, the lines uh, the same color maybe make them a little thicker and you can also change the periods uh, in here that you want uh, your MACD set at so we'll change that I'm gonna go ahead and add one more thing here we'll add um, a simple moving average and so we have that on there now uh, let's go ahead and change that average let's make that um, red and then we want the period to be 15 instead of 10 and you go ahead and put that on there 
so you can see that uh, automatically updates for you. You can also add two of them if you want, three, it doesn't matter. Um, if you wanted another moving average on there at a different setting, you can put that on there, just kind of see and, uh, and play with these settings yourself. Make that a light blue, and we'll make it 25. Go ahead and hit OK, and you can see kind of how these lines line up here. Okay, so now you know a little bit about how to manage your widgets and um, change fields and settings on the chart. So um, please stay tuned uh, for more of our educational videos, and uh, thank you for listening.